ZANU PF rejects criticism of General Sabanda's appointment to Politburo. ZANU PF, the ruling party in Zimbabwe, has defended the appointment of General Philip Valerio Sabanda to the party's Politburo, stating that only the Constitutional Court has the authority to declare it unconstitutional. The decision to include Sabanda, who serves as the commander of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, as an ex officio member of the Politburo during the recent party conference, has faced criticism from lawyers and the opposition. They argue that the Constitution prohibits security service members from actively participating in political parties or organizations. ZANU PF's Director of Information, Farai Maripira, dismissed the criticism, emphasizing that only courts of law have the final say on constitutional matters. Maripira told Zimlib that individuals claiming authority to speak definitively on such matters are misguided and emphasized the need to respect the role of the Constitutional Court. He argued that the appointment of General Sabanda should not be limited to a narrow interpretation of a single section of the Constitution. Maripira pointed to Section 67, which guarantees the right of every Zimbabwean citizen to make political choices freely. Critics, however, remain unconvinced by ZANU-PF's arguments and accuse President Emerson Umningagwa of violating his oath to uphold the Constitution by appointing Sabanda as a partisan general. They contend that Sabanda cannot simultaneously hold the positions of general and Politburo member, asserting that he must choose one role over the other. The Citizens' Coalition for Change CCC spokesman, Promise Kwananzi, called on ZANU-PF to observe the law instead of repeatedly breaking it and expecting others to seek legal recourse. Kwananzi deemed the appointment unlawful and politically problematic, suggesting that General Sabanda should step down if he wishes to engage in politics. Prominent lawyer advocate Thabani Pofu unequivocally stated that it is unconstitutional for General Sabanda to assume a position in the ZANU-PF Politburo dismissing any room for debate on the matter. Pofu raised concerns about the potential conflicts of interest that may arise if Sabanda were to respond to opposition actions as both a military commander and a member of the ruling party. MDCT leader Douglas Mwanzora, another lawyer, echoed the sentiment, describing the appointment as totally wrong and emphasizing the dangerous conflation of the state, army, and party. President Umingagwa, who is in his second and final term, is reportedly favoring General Sabanda to succeed him and is seemingly paving the way for his entry into ZANU-PF politics. Former Foreign Minister Walter Mzembai expressed concern over the boundaries being crossed and the implications for the military commander, suggesting that sitting in a Politburo where decisions affecting opposition parties are made could create conflicts for Sabanda. The debate surrounding General Sabanda's appointment highlights the tensions and differing perspectives on the role of military officials in political affairs in Zimbabwe.